Garrick Mach, Captain Falcon versus Greninja. I have not seen um, Nullix play in a good while, so I definitely am interested in what he's been cooking with Greninja since the last time that we saw him in a PNW online series. <clears throat> so right now, both players staying really grounded. Um, I really think in this matchup, <clears throat> the person who controls the ground will be <clears throat> the one in advantage. Potential attack chase here, good drag down. Greninja has really good tilts, um, but um, in particular, oh, and the knee off stage will take the first stock. <clears throat> Greninja's F tilt, it's really good for poking. Um, the legs are invincible, however, it is a long startup, it has pretty high lag. So he's gonna have to be careful with uh, throwing that out against someone who has a quicker FAF. And a quicker way to get in, such as Captain Falcon. Good CC on the jab, and... The tipper up smash almost takes it. Falcon is extremely hard to kill, um... Vertically. Um... Just because he's a heavyweight, and a... Another stock taken by the knee of justice. Dash attack? Oh, and the miss confirmed, but the up smash will actually take the sock. <laughs> Keep it right now being a stock ahead. Uh, Nelix has quite a mountain to climb. <clears throat> oh, off stage? Oh, this is bad. Oh, and, and an unfortunate SD from Nelix. Oh my gosh, these tech chases are brutal coming out of Cupid. <clears throat> oh, good pivot down tilt. Unable to capitalize off that. And an SD from Cupid, but it does not matter. Cupid taking the first match. And GameCube. I actually really like this counter pick from Nullix. Alright, and a quick jab. Oh, good tech. Cupid is able to actually punish that tech and get a quick 58%. A little bit of cheese there. Good tech. However, this may be... Oh. An easy edge guard from Cupid. And the edge cancel. Uh, potential combo starter drop by Nolix. Oh, and Cupid misses the edge guard opportunity. Nolix unfortunately dying to the uh, Falcon grab. Oh, and I think that Nair was a misinput. I think that was supposed to be a fair confirm. Oh, and the knee. Nullux able to get back onto stage. And a good drag down confirm into a down smash. <clears throat> And Nullix does not have a jump, and unfortunately, he will die at 69%. A three socks to one? This is a dire situation for Nullix.
And the reaction tech chases begin. <clears throat> Cupid actually getting a little bit of mileage with those re-grabs. And the edge guard opportunity is dropped by Nolix. And this is a really bad situation. He needs to get off that platform. He needs to reset neutral. And he needs edge guard. Oh, there we go. And unfortunately, the knee secures the stock. You want to exhaust all the resources, you want to be counting the resources, whether or not they want it. <clears throat> they have used their double jump, their air dodge, their up B, their side B. <clears throat> Another tech chase scenario. And the reverse knee comes out. Good SDI out of the rapid jab by Cupid. Good. And that is a knee. That would have spelled disaster if Nullux actually got hit by a dare. Cupid being extremely patient. <clears throat> just waiting for Nullux to actually just throw out a move for him to be able just to capitalize off the lag. Good conversions over here. And a reverse knee. <laughs> And the up throw knee will confirm the stock. <clears throat> Rough scenario for Nullux and the tipper fair will secure that stock. I know that a lot of people recently um, within the HDR community have been particularly complaining about Captain Falcon. Um, I, in all honesty, think that it's okay for Falcon to be a strong character. It's okay for him to have these tools. Um, I just think that <clears throat> now we're at the point of the meta where players need to learn how to be able to um, exactly um, edge guard him and really exposed his weaknesses. And Nullux actually putting up a fight here. Oh, he's living those, and the edge guard will take it. <laughs> and at the triple dash attack, um, recently. I've been playing some Greninja, and I definitely do feel like, yes, the character does have certain tools that are strong, but I really do think that he may be one of the characters that may need some love. Um, I feel like the frog has been neglected, and after playing um, a certain game, I really do feel like, man, there's a game where 
a certain frog character just is so good. And the Nibble secure the match. 